them pounds, they I call my supervisor. And that's gonna make a whole take it to a whole nother level. All right, homies, day two, hanging out with Ro We got the freaking Ronin. This thing is sick. Look at it. Freaking gorgeous, dude. The design and details that have gone into this helmet look so sick, man. One of my favorite features is a super easy strap. It literally takes one hand, bring it up here. Look at that, one finger, and it just attached in. And it's so secure. <laughs> Look at this, dude! And then all you have to do is grab this little red tab and pull. Amazing. These guys are killing it with their design. They're so lightweight. Only one in 500 made. They do limited runs of specialty designs. I'm just super excited to have one of these. I love it, dude. It's so sick. I'm so happy we can work together. These guys are super chill, super cool people. I love supporting good people. So we're gonna actually get out there now with this helmet, get a bunch of riding shots, some really cool cinematic stuff for you guys, and then also for their team so that they can use it. I'm stoked. So, let's jump on Stella and get to it. Super toasty out. We're gonna jump in the truck. We're gonna grab Stella. We're gonna ride, catch some sick shots for you guys. I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to vlog the stuff because we're not gonna throw any cameras or mics on the helmet. But we're gonna get some sick shots and we're gonna hook that footage up for you guys either way. So we're getting things ready to roll. Catch you on there. by security though so we gotta roll later so she's dirty as can be because there's no reason to clean her right here we got the, uh, the peg smashed wow. side scraped up all up here this I got everything getting replaced though so I got new pegs new levers new kit obviously to cover the whole bike the whole nine so she's basically gonna be brand new when i get it we're gonna run over we're gonna grab some grub gonna hit up some uh what are we, where are we going uh it's called oh the smoothie place right right, right. we're gonna head over there grab a smoothie grab some wraps get some grub uh and then we're gonna get back to it more uh photos some get you some instagram stuff so hit us up over there as well later what's up dude A tropical smoothie cafe. I knew it was smoothie something. <laughs> smoothie action for the boys. Yeah, yeah. Pops into tropical smoothie cafe, grab some grub, about to run out, take some shots of the bike, the helmet, gonna be sick. Beautiful, dude. Day walking. Day walking. <laughs> Round two, planet Round smoothie. Yeah. Dunzo, how was it? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> feels like a new man now. He feels like a new man. He's refreshed. I'm detoxed. Nice. <laughs> Detox nice. Baby. Got so many shots. So sick. So epic. You guys are going to check that out right here. Huge thank you to Deeply for letting us hang out all day, taking up their space, drinking all their coffee while we shot around downtown and got a bunch of shots. So definitely come check them out. Amazing coffee. Anyways, jumping back out here. Get you some more shots later. Money is in the 
the coke to eat. Why say I'm in too deep? You know you way too deep. But you ain't love the streets. You know I stay with the heat. My bitch say I'm in too deep. You always in too deep. When I started loving the beat. Cause it was born in years. You better hold the tears. Niggas gon' face they fears. Cause I'm here to end careers. And we know all the plugs. The bullshit just because. You always in too deep. Cause I can tell all the drugs. Dog in the trap with G's, stay throwing up the seat. Knew I was in too deep when I left him there in the street. Ooh, it's toasty, Al, but we're getting so many sick shots with the helmet out here. We're on Church Street, downtown Orlando, shooting all over the place. The homies. Let's go. What do you think of the helmet? It's cool. I don't know how to ride motorcycles, but it looks nice. Do you like your new helmet? Of course. It's gorgeous. How many you had before that one? Before this one, some some ugly AGV. Oh, <laughs> cool though, that's nice. Yeah, it's a good looking helmet though. It is. Hey, that's a nice lid. <laughs> Check one, two. We got the Atlas Ronin's thing is beautiful. The fit is a little tight to get into, but man, once you're in there, it fits so nice over your head. I seriously love the way this thing looks. The uh, lightweight Italian carbon is insane. It's so light feels great on your head and then once I weigh it down with GoPros and anything else I put on here I'm sure it's still gonna feel amazing breathable such a unique looking helmet the design the visor there's just so much about this that there is to love man one of my favorite things is up here how much room there is in the front I'm always stuffing microphones in here and different things whether it's from my Cena or my GoPro audio whatever it is and it's just got the room you need up here it's really comfortable comes up over the nose a little bit but it doesn't obstruct your vision at all really love the visor and the way that it gives you so much room to see out of it there's no obstruction from above or the size i feel like i can see everything so clearly which is very narrow in certain helmets and this one does not have that problem i love that i'm obsessed with this locking system that you guys got going here man it just slides right in there pops on doesn't come out no matter how hard you yank on this thing and then boom so simple like who thinks of this stuff man <laughs> it's insane first impressions man riding around feeling this thing out it just feels good on your head man it doesn't feel like it's gonna move around there's only 500 made exclusive runs of these things they're epic man there we are dude seriously guys thank you so much Shout out to Barack. Thank you guys for coming all the way out here to hand deliver a helmet to me. Super sick. I'm so happy that I got to get my hands on one of these. Insane. Had so much fun. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog later. I hope you guys enjoyed all those edits and all that cinematic footage and hanging out with Rurok. Those guys were freaking so cool. Like seriously, super, super genuine people. So much fun to hang out with. So generous, so awesome. I'm very excited to be uh, working with these guys and looking forward to uh, future content with them. The fact that they're developing and constantly asking for our feedback to further better those helmets and develop them. Making sure that all the people who got helmets before and may have had fitment issues are getting new liners. They're taking care of everybody, dudes. Like, they're doing their best to stay on top of the game and to make every single person happy and to develop the best helmets they can while still being super stylish as well as affordable. So like, definitely check these guys out. Link down in the description for you guys. We have so many ideas for working together in the future and I'm super excited about it. So, I hope you guys are excited about it too so glad to be a part of it beautiful day to be out riding though get that breeze going it feels amazing but we're out here on Stella got to take her in to get some work done she's uh been long overdue to get all fixed up oh what's up birdie <laughs> that was sick so I'm taking Stella in to my mechanic he's gonna get all the work done I need we're gonna be doing so many things so let me try and remember everything off the top of my head to tell you <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a valve adjustment we're gonna be replacing the pegs I got new levers because these ones got scraped up in the accident 
obviously we're replacing all the fairings. I got a custom fairing kit coming in from an awesome company who hooked me up. So we're gonna talk about that when she gets in. I'm gonna also be replacing some um, seals and stuff for the uh, clutch assembly. Some spots where it's leaking some uh, oil out of the clutch assembly on the right side over here from when the accident happened. Gonna get her a new headlight, new front stay bracket for the fairings as well. I'm also gonna be swapping a 520 conversion on her. And so that's like one of those performance mods that's pretty minuscule as far as what's gonna change uh, noticeably. The only place that really matters is like on the track, etc. Generally the R1's gonna have a 530 chain on it. Those are just a little bit thicker, a little heavier. So the rotational mass on the chain is just a little more to deal with uh, gyroscopically on a motorcycle. And I'm gonna be going down to the 520, which just means it's a, a smaller, lighter chain because I'm gonna be swapping out the sprockets, which is the bigger deal. I wanna go down one tooth in the front sprocket and up two teeth in the back sprocket. So what it does is it gives the R1 a little bit more performance in the low end of the RPMs and I think you might lose a tiny bit of performance in the very top end as well but like who cares I was actually just gonna go with a uh, 530 chain and uh, swap out the sprockets for down one tooth and up two in the back the homie but uh, they were actually out of stock of the uh, 530 set I was looking at so I just went ahead and went with the 520. Um, this is actually a conversion that I've had on every single one of my R1s and I've loved it, dude. It makes it a little snappier. It gives it a little more uh, oomph in the low RPMs, which is where an R1 lacks, like off the line at the very beginning. But uh, man, I've loved it on all my R1s. It feels great. <laughs> Whew, it's toasty out, man. As you can see here, this guy's all banged up and I don't even have one on this side anymore. I don't know what happened, it just kind of fell off. So we're gonna be replacing those as well. And uh, overall, I think that's pretty much everything. I also got a new LED kit I'm gonna throw on her. I like to stay visible at night. Super, super important to be able to be seen. I mean, at night, it's the hardest time for anyone to be able to see you or when you're hitting your brakes, even though your little LED light in the back might light up. It's very hard for people to judge the distance or how fast you're slowing down. So having those LEDs on the bike for a little more uh, three-dimensional space to be visible is always great. And guys, I'm so excited for you guys to see this custom fairing kit. It is gonna be so sick. They're working on building it out right now. So hopefully within two weeks, we'll have Shelby back, put back together, basically brand new, looking freaking insane, man. I can't wait. So this is the last we're gonna see of uh, Stella for the next two weeks, at least I'm gonna see. I'm still gonna be putting some videos out for you guys. So stay tuned. This guy in front of me is looking straight in his mirror at me the whole time. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, he's just staring. Anyways, guys, if you wanna help support the rebuild process or the channel in general and you enjoy the content and you look forward to seeing more with the custom Stella, you can always support at patreon.com forward slash RPS TV. Hop on over there to check it out. That's where people can donate anything from a dollar to any number they want a month to uh, support the future of the channel and uh, getting things going. That helps get me away from traditional work so that I can do more work over here for you guys, which I love doing that. So definitely consider doing that if you uh, really enjoy the content, guys. Aside from that, it always helps if you like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, of course, Twitter at RPS TV, Instagram RPS.TV. Hit me up on those, tag me in some memes. Let me know what's up. Oh, the homie, another homie. No helmet, homie. <laughs> Do your thing, though. Do your thing. <laughs> the sidewalk, homie. What the heck, dude? Woo, it's so hot. So hot. Ugh. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> what are you doing later? Come here often? Uh, I come here all the time. Are you, like, from around here? Yeah, something like that. Maybe. Mm. I dabble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a big deal. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you want to kiss later? You want to kiss later? <laughs> it's so hot out here. Give me some of that AC. Let me have some of that. Turn it over here. Perfect. Oh yes. Oh, it's so good. So nice.
but Twee was nice enough to come with me and help me uh, drop the bike off and deliver the parts that I got to give to him. So thank you for helping. <laughs> Woo, finally get some airflow going. <laughs> Leave Twee behind there. All right, guys, well, we're rolling up at the mechanics. I'll catch you on the other side. Deuces. Hey. Hey, how's it going, Jake? Hey, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. It's been a while. She's in rough shape right now, man. Can't see that. Lady pulled out in front of me, dropped her, slid her out, yeah. made me drop that, busted that out. I mean, mostly it's actually not that bad. The front stay bracket's broken, of course. Yeah, always Always. Yeah, every time you drop it, it's like, yeah. <laughs> breaks. Got all sorts of toys for you. What's your name? Jake. Oh, oh, like, uh, uh, I go by like RPS TV for the, for the YouTube channel. RPS TV. Yeah, it's great. It's a lot of fun. How long you been riding? A little over eight years, no vehicle, <laughs> no car. No car? Yeah. Oh, I, I just got a car. That's my Jeep out there. So. How do you like the car? Uh, it's great to have. Yeah. <laughs> it's a luxury for sure. It's definitely something I should have. Oh, I know. Oh, look at all these bikes. Beautiful. I feel great because I got out of the leather. <laughs> oh, wow, that's true, oh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I had a I have a textile jacket, but I flipped my motorcycle and crashed. And you do wheelies and shit? I did. <laughs> yeah. no All right, so we made it out with Stella, dropping her off. He's gonna take care of her, get her completely fixed. We're gonna replace all the fairings. We're gonna replace all these m messed up levers and uh, pegs here. So we're gonna give her a valve adjustment and get her new LED kits all the way throughout here. She's gonna be freaking gorgeous when we're done with her. She's gonna be running beautifully purring. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. If you guys are in the uh, Central Orlando, Central Florida area, and you guys are looking for an awesome mechanic, this is my guy right here, Daniel. He takes care of all my bike stuff. He's rebuilt engines for me. He's uh, gonna be doing everything on Stella, taking her from the trash heap that she is right now, turning her into a beautiful motorcycle. So we're super excited about that. Uh, so if you need to know where to find him, I'll give you a little contact information uh, down below. Catch you guys on the other side. Thank you. Right, Appreciate nice. it, Daniel. Hey, Thank man, you. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. <laughs> hey, what was your name oh, again? Jan. Jan. This is Jan. We met out here just uh, popping into Daniel. She's getting her bike worked on as well. Uh, so nice to meet you. It was so Thank fun. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. you.